The one here on the right is bigger. <laughs> they're poisonous? Hey, are they poisonous? They are. Yeah. Uh -oh. They are? Yeah. So get down? So, yeah. Get down. Diego, how long is it going to take us to get to the top? 40 minutes to 30, depending how we walk. You guys are slow. Two hours. We're going to watch the sunrise. I think we can have a lane for that. We are always waiting Bacon on this style. guy. <laughs> Let's go. Well, right now we're following Diego uh, and Israel. They're taking us for a morning hike. Yeah, we don't man. really know a whole lot. We just know we're going hiking, buddy. <laughs> yeah. They said something about Monkey Mountain. <laughs> That's the name of the mountain. We got the sunrise over the mountains here. We got Monkey Mountain over there. It's just the one right there to the far right. We thought we were gonna see monkeys today. No, well, yeah, the thing I is that there's a spider. Oh, nice, gorgeous. But the reason why they call it mono, Cerro del Mono, or Monkey Mountain, is because of they find a lot of monoliths, like statues from the pre Hispanic civilization, really? in all this area. Now, so, let me ask you a question though. Why is always a fence? Like, because if someone owns this property, or why? Yeah. What they have in Canada and the United States is like, um, Indigenous or Indian reservation. Indian okay. reservation. They keep it like this for. They keep it like this, and all the people can still have their cows and their, yeah, all, all the, the animals the inside. Yeah. yeah. Talking about something so different than this, you guys know Diego is like international. No, we're <laughs> champion international surfer from Sayulita. What? Like we got serious lucky. one though. We got lucky having so we got you lucky guys. to have him in. I'm and lucky being with you guys. Ah, oh. <laughs> so cute, Diego. <laughs> what is nice chupacabras? What is that? What's the tale about this creature, like kind of like alien? -er? Oh, he like stole aliens. our cows and sheep. He right. just stole. He bites them and sucks their blood. That's the whole story about it. Wow. It's like a vampire. And it was like a huge, like a vampire, but it's like a big iguana, right? It's like a huge iguana right. just <laughs> biting. <Right>, exactly. <laughs> We met this morning, we got up super early, like super early, and met up with Israel, who's a friend of Rodrigo's. And he and Diego were kind of our guides to bring us to this place and take us, like, you kind of need a local here because the paths are super sketchy and you wouldn't know which way to go. It's crazy how much better it is to hang out with somebody like a local when you're doing activities like this because they offer, like, he's been telling us stories as we go up, telling us like, oh, we passed this rock and I get some hieroglyphics from ancient civilizations here, stuff that we would just pass right by. Watch your step. Did I just say that? Put water. some water in it. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. That's the good stuff. <laughs> this is fresh. Mm, that was amazing. <laughs> this is fresh. Try it yourself, come on. You put it in your face, it will make your skin you? smooth. Yeah, yeah. The fountain of youth. Yeah. It's the all inclusive resort. Cool. You can yeah. do anything you want here. Cool. Anything you want. Yeah, when we no. come back, yeah, let's go. Not too much, like, too much to walk. and not action. <laughs> I got a little excited. Yeah. Don't you feel so small? Down there? Yeah. It's Aguera Blanca. And then there's Punta de Mita. On the end. And the very end, and a point. Oh, the point is all like private homes too. This is beautiful. What's that in there? Mm, beautiful. That's the Bay of Banderas. It's one of the biggest bays in the world. Mm. All right, we made it to the top. The views are spectacular from up here. A little bit of rough terrain climbing up. We got some ticks, some spiders. What else do we see? Scorpions. Uh, <laughs> mud, I got a flat tire in the Jeep. Ooh. Oh, sweet. that's no ah. good. Or we may have a flat tire. <laughs> we got the pressure light <laughs> happening here. Um, and we clearly drove over something glass. Yeah.
Super lucky to have Israel uh, and Diego giving us a local's uh, eye view of this place. This experience would have been very different had they not told us their stories and shared their experiences up here with us. So feeling pretty grateful for that. And certainly this view would make anybody's day.